Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving headfirst into the fascinating world of control valves. These little marvels are silent workhorses in a myriad of industries, from oil and gas to water treatment. And who better to guide us through their intricacies than our guest expert, Mr. John Anderson. With a wealth of experience under his belt and a knack for making complex concepts comprehensible, John is just the person to help us unravel the many mysteries of control valves. We'll explore what they are, how they work, their applications, and even some maintenance tips. So without further ado, let's delve deep into this intriguing topic. Strap in, folks. We're about to take a journey that promises to be both enlightening and engaging. Welcome, John. Let's start with the basics. Could you please explain what a control valve is and its primary function? In the world of fluid dynamics, control valves are the unsung heroes. These mechanical devices are central to the regulation of fluid flow, be it gas or liquid, in various systems. The primary function of a control valve is to maintain control over specific process parameters, such as the rate, pressure, or temperature of the fluid within a process. Imagine a highway with cars moving at different speeds. A control valve is like the traffic controller, managing the speed and direction of each car to ensure smooth traffic flow. Similarly, in a fluid system, control valves regulate the flow of fluid, ensuring that it moves at the right pace and in the right direction. Control valves are a bit like the heart of a fluid system, pumping fluid throughout. And just as the heart adjusts its pace based on the body's needs, a control valve can increase or decrease the flow rate as required. The magic of control valves lies in their ability to change the size of the flow passage. This is accomplished by manipulating a movable element within the valve body, like a plug or a ball. Adjusting the position of this element allows for the control of the flow rate, thus managing the desired process parameters. To sum it up, control valves are mechanical devices that regulate the flow of fluid within a system. They're critical in controlling the pressure, temperature and rate of fluid flow. Their operation relies on the principle of changing the size of the flow passage which is achieved by adjusting the position of a movable element within the valve. That's interesting. How does a control valve work? Could you explain the working principle behind it? Sure, let's delve into the fascinating world of control valves. Essentially, these devices operate by changing the size of the flow passage within the valve. This is done by adjusting the position of a movable element within the valve body. This movable element can take different forms like a plug or a ball depending on the type of valve. Imagine the valve as a door that can be opened or closed to varying degrees. When the door is wide open, the flow of fluid is at its maximum. But as the door starts closing, the flow rate decreases. Similarly, in a control valve, when the movable element is fully retracted, the fluid passage is completely open, allowing maximum flow. As the movable element starts closing, it obstructs the fluid passage, reducing the flow rate. This principle of changing the flow rate by adjusting the movable element's position is the basic working principle of a control valve. Now, you may be wondering, how is the position of this movable element controlled? Well, the position of the movable element is controlled by an actuator. An actuator is a device that converts energy into motion. It can be powered by different energy sources like electricity, air pressure, or hydraulic fluid. When the actuator receives a signal to adjust the position of the movable element, it does so by converting the energy it receives into motion. This motion is then transferred to the movable element, causing it to change its position within the valve body. In this way, by adjusting the position of the movable element, control valves are able to regulate the flow of fluid through a system. They help maintain the desired process parameters such as the rate of flow, pressure, or temperature ensuring the smooth and efficient operation of various processes across different industries. That sounds quite intricate. What are some common applications of control valves in different industries? What are some common applications of control valves in different industries? Control valves with their ability to regulate the flow of fluids are integral to many industries. Let's explore some of them. In the oil and gas sector, control valves are used extensively. They manage the flow of oil and gas through pipelines, regulate pressure in storage tanks, and control temperature during refining processes. They also play a crucial role in safety systems, 
helping to prevent overpressure situations that could lead to catastrophic events. In the world of chemical processing, control valves are equally vital. They help to maintain precise process conditions such as temperature, pressure and flow rate, which are critical for producing consistent, high-quality products. Whether it's in the manufacture of pharmaceuticals, plastics or fertilizers, control valves ensure that reactions occur under optimal conditions. The power generation industry also relies heavily on control valves. In thermal power plants, these valves control the flow of steam to turbines, which directly affects the generation of electricity. In nuclear power plants, control valves play a key role in cooling systems, ensuring the safe operation of the facility. Water treatment facilities are another domain where control valves shine. They regulate the flow of water through various treatment processes, helping to ensure that the water we consume is safe and clean. From controlling the dosage of disinfectants to managing the flow of wastewater, control valves make significant contributions to public health. Food and beverage manufacturing is another industry that relies on control valves. They regulate temperature and pressure during cooking or pasteurization processes, control the flow of ingredients, and manage cleaning and sanitization systems. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Control valves find applications in countless other sectors, including pulp and paper, mining and HVAC, to name a few. Fascinating. Now, what are the different types of control valves available in the market? What are the different types of control valves available in the market, you ask? Well, the market offers a varied range of control valves, each designed for specific applications and processes. For instance, we have the globe valves, known for their good throttling abilities, which make them ideal for controlling flow levels. Then there are butterfly valves, characterized by their compact and lightweight design, making them a top choice for large valve applications. Ball valves, on the other hand, are highly durable and provide excellent shutoff capabilities, while plug valves are often used in applications where high flow efficiency is required. Each type of valve comes with its own set of advantages and limitations, tailored to meet the unique requirements of different processes. Therefore, when selecting a control valve, you must consider several factors. I see. When selecting a control valve, what factors should one consider? This will be our next point of discussion, so stay tuned. When selecting a control valve, what factors should one consider? Well, the choice of a control valve is no small matter. It's a decision that requires a careful evaluation of several factors. You need to consider the characteristics of the fluid being controlled, from its viscosity to its corrosiveness. The operating conditions, such as temperature and pressure, are equally important. Then there's the required flow capacity, the pressure drop limitations, and the desired control accuracy. Each of these factors plays a crucial role in determining the most suitable valve for a given application. That's helpful advice. Lastly, what are some maintenance tips for ensuring the optimal performance and longevity of control valves? Maintenance is key. Regular cleaning, routine inspections for leakage or wear, lubrication of moving parts, and periodic calibration are all part of maintaining a control valve's performance. And of course, always follow the manufacturer's guidelines and seek professional help when needed. What are some maintenance tips for ensuring the optimal performance and longevity of control valves? A question that brings us to the end of our enlightening journey through the world of control valves. Regular maintenance is the cornerstone of optimal valve performance. It's like a car. The better you take care of it, the longer it will serve you faithfully. So, remember to keep your valves clean, inspect them for wear and tear, and keep the moving parts well lubricated. Calibration is also key to maintaining control accuracy, and of course always follow the manufacturer's guidelines. John, we couldn't have asked for a more knowledgeable guide. Your insights have illuminated the intricate workings of control valves and made this complex topic accessible to all. That concludes today's interview on control valves. If you have any further questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.